Hello there, welcome, Hello. To, welcome to another bad creepypasta. Today's story is Sonic.exe. I have never heard of this before in my entire life. Oh yeah, it's really obscure, this one. If you'd like to play along with us, we're drinking right now, and uh, every time we see every time we see the words red, blood, or black, take a drink. And if you happen upon the phrase hyper-realistic, take three drinks. So go and get yourself a drink, pause the video, get yourself a drink and come back. Or just buy a crate, you know. Yeah, whatever. Look at, look after my veins! Okay, you're back? Good. Right. I'm a total Sonic the Hedgehog fan, much like everyone else. I'm not. I really haven't enjoyed many other Sonic games. I don't think I've ever played glitchy or hacked games before. Congratulations. Though I don't think I want to play any. After the experience I had... Dun, dot, dun. Dot, dot. All right, it's getting, it's getting scary, guys. It started on a nice summer afternoon. <laughs> terrifying! I was playing Sonic Unleashed. It was more terrifying because I had no friends to spend the sunny day with. I liked how you get to explore the towns in it. Until I noticed, out of my peripheral vision, that the mailman had arrived and put something in my mailbox. I was suspicious of this because I had no friends to give me, send me letters. As usual, and left. Pause the game to see what I got in the mail. Dot dot dot. Bills. The only thing in the mailbox was a CD case for computers and a note. Other, <laughs> well, you know, other, unlike the CD case for bread. <laughs> I took it in sight. I looked at the note first and realised it was from my dear friend Kyle. Let's just call him that. <laughs> <laughs> Whom I hadn't heard. Mean? Let's refer to him as Bernard. <laughs> whom I hadn't heard from in two weeks. Oh. I know that because I recognised his handwriting. <laughs> Though what was weird is how it looked. What? <laughs> I recognised his handwriting, but I didn't. <laughs> it looked badly written and scratchy and somewhat difficult to read. As if That's Kyle. As if Kyle was having a hard time writing it down and did it in a hurry. This is what he wrote. <clears throat> Tom, I can't take it anymore. I had to get rid of the thing somehow before it was too late. I was hoping you'd do it for me. I can't do it. He's after me. If you don't destroy a CD, he'll come after you too. Ah, oh, it's too fast for me. Please, Tom, destroy the god for second disc before he comes after you too. It's too late for me. Destroy the disc and go destroy him. But do it quicker, boys. He'll catch you. Don't even play the game. It's what he wants. Just destroy it, please. Kyle. <laughs> well, that certainly was weird. <laughs> Even though Kyle is my best friend. He also, he also apparently is some sort of fat truck from the south. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't seen him in two weeks. I didn't do what he asked me. I didn't think that a simple gaming disc would do anything bad to him. I'm a bad friend. After all, it's just a game, right? Boy, was I wrong about that. Dot, dot, dot. Why didn't Kyle destroy it himself? You can't! It's too fast for me! <laughs> anyway, I looked at the disc and it looks. Just pick a tens for fuck's sake! <laughs> like any ordinary computer CDR disc, except it had black marker on it, written Sonic.exe. And it was much unlike Kyle's handwriting that I didn't recognise, meaning that he must have gotten it from somewhere else, like a pawn shop or eBay. That source. When I saw Sonic on the writing of the CD, I was actually excited and wanted I to play a it, since I am a big Sonic fan. Popped a boner! <laughs> I went... <laughs> I'm just loving a popped a boner. <laughs> I went up to my room and turned on my computer and put the disc in and installed... You can use commas, you know, and installed the game. When the title screen popped up, I noticed it was the first Sonic game. I was like, awesome! awesome. Because, like I said earlier, I liked the classics. Really? But, How many times do you want to mention that you like the classics? But somehow didn't own the first Sonic game. I don't even like Sonic that much and I have like five copies on different systems. Oh. The first thing I noticed that was out of place was when I pressed start. There was a split second when I saw the title image turned into something much different. Something that I now consider horrifying. Before cutting to black. Wait, you didn't consider it horrifying before. I remember what the image looked like in that split second before the game cut to black. Wait, black. Oh, yes. Oh, God. Okay. <coughs> the sky had darkened. The title emblem was rusted and ruined. Sega 1991 was now instead 
Sega 666. Ooh. Sonic Scary Pass to 666. And I've the water. Seen what you did there. And the water had turned red. Uh -oh. Like blood. Oh. <laughs> Oh shit. Except it looked hyper realistic. <laughs> That's three guys. Mm -mm. <sighs> but the freaky uh. <laughs> The freakiest by the way, does that blood look hyper realistic to anyone? But the freakiest thing that was in that split second frame was Sonic. His <laughs> eyes were pitch black. Psych. And bleeding. Bleeding counts as blood. <laughs> no it doesn't! <laughs> It fucking does. I'm gonna need a bigger glass. With two glowing red dots staring right at me. And his smile had stretched wider up to the edge of his face. I was rather disturbed about that image no, no, when he I was just rather disturbed. That's it. <laughs> I was rather disturbed about that image when I saw it. Though I figured it was just a glitch. <laughs> I forgot about it. Does this guy know what a glitch is? Because that seems oddly specific. After it cut to black. It stayed like that for about 10 seconds or so. And then another weird thing happened. The save file select from Sonic the Hedgehog 3 popped up. And I was like, WTF? What the fuck? What, what? was this doing in the first Sonic game? Anyway, then I noticed something off. Past 10, so okay, just, it's not hard. The background was dark, was the dark cloudy sky of the bad Stardust Speedway level from Sonic CD. And there were only three save files. The music was that creepy Caverns of Winter music from Earthbound. <laughs> Only it was extended and seemed to have been in reverse. <laughs> How why does he even so, know? Why are you bringing reverse to Sonic? Why are you bringing other like like why are you bring Earthbound into a Sonic story? I don't fucking know. That's a fucking Earthbound. <laughs> and the image for the save file, where you see a preview of the level you're in, is. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't put tent swap as a thing you have to do for. It's just red static. Red. <clears throat> for all three files. What freaked me out more was the character select. It showed only Tails, Knuckles, and to my surprise, Dr. Robotnik! Robotnik! Now Ninja. I was sure that something was up. I mean, how can you play as Robotnik in a <laughs> Robotnik. classic Sonic game for crying out loud? <laughs> he how? Sounds, he sounds so like. What? <laughs> And then I realised this wasn't a glitchy game. No. It was a hacked game. No. Remember how he said he'd never played a hacked game? Um, Uses, you know, masterful detective skills. Yeah. Give Batman a run for his money. It definitely looked hacked. Yeah. It was really creepy. But as a smart gamer... <laughs> really? Just let that one sink in. I wasn't scared. Or at least I tried not to be. I told myself that it was just a hacked game. And there's nothing wrong with that. Anyways, shaking off the creeped out feeling, I picked file one and chose Tails. Oh. And when I selected and got started, the game froze for about five seconds. And I heard a creepy pixelated laugh. Sound has pixels. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded an awful lot like that Kefka guy from Final Fantasy. Again, why are you bringing that? <laughs> the scariest thing in any game, Kefka. <laughs> the scary gay clown who blew up the world. Okay, can we all stop for a moment in reverence of fucking Shadow Wolf's Kefka impression? What? Jesus Christ, that's awesome! <laughs> the screen stayed black for about 10 seconds or more. Does he count? Does he get a stopwatch out? How long? How long? One oh. Mississippi, two <laughs> Mississippi, three. Then it showed the typical level title thing, except in simplistic shapes that were different. Sh <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop it! Damn Shut it! Shadow Wolf is smacking his head into the arm of my couch. <laughs> okay. Oh. Different shades of red. <laughs> Different shades. I know it's light pink. And the text showed only Hill Act 1. The screen faded in and the title vanished, revealing tales in Green Hill Zone from Sonic 1. The music was different though. It sounded like a peaceful melody in reverse. Anyway, I started playing and had Tails start running like you would in any of the classic Sonic games. What was odd was that as Tails was running along the level, there was nothing but flat ground and only a few trees for five minutes. So as a smart as a smart gamer, I got bored immediately and went to go do something else. As a smart oh gamer, wait! As a smart gamer, knowing that I've got nothing to do in my life, I just held right. <laughs> That was when the peaceful music started to lower down into slow, deep tones. Very slowly as I kept going. 
turned into Barry White. I suddenly saw Barry White's seven head coming at you. I suddenly saw something, and I stopped to see what it was. It was one of the small animals lying dead on the ground, bleeding. Got good enough, you all know, baby. That was that was when the music started to slow down. Tails had a shocked and saddened look on his face I that I never saw him have before. I could tell by the pixels. He had sad pixel he had eyebrows. He had sad sound pixels. He's got an angry eyebrow. So I had him move along, and he kept that worried look on his face. As he kept moving, I saw more dead animals. As Tails moved past them, looking more and more worried as the music lowers. <laughs> Lowered! And he moves. Moved! Past more dead animals. Look at his face, it's got sad eyes. I'm like... So I've got some massive, ridiculous, un unhappy smile. <laughs> I was shocked to see how they all died. They looked like somebody killed them in rather gruesome ways. A squirrel was hanged on a tree with what appeared to be its entrails hanging out. How could you tell <laughs> on a 16-bit game? A bunny had all four of his limbs torn off. <laughs> and a duck... <laughs> had his eyes gouged out. And his throat slit. And his penis. <laughs> <laughs> Turned into a small paper mache dog. <laughs> I felt sick to my stomach when I saw this massacre. <laughs> and apparently so did Tails. <laughs> Such graphics in a 16-bit game. Damn graphics. After a few more seconds, there were no more animals, and the music seemed to have stopped. I still kept Tails to continue. What? What? After a minute passed, after the music stopped, Tails was running up a hill, and then he stopped. It wasn't until I saw why. Sonic was there on the other side of the screen, with his back against Tails, with his eyes closed. Mm. Tails looked happy to see Sonic, but then his smile faltered, mm. obviously noticing that Sonic wasn't responding to him, if not acting as if he was totally oblivious of Tails' presence. Then it is two Tails' presence. Tails walked slowly towards Sonic, and I noticed that I wasn't even moving my keyboard to make him move. Oh. So this had to have been a cutscene. Suddenly, I began to have a growing feel of dread. <laughs> growing <laughs> feel of dread as Tails walked closer to Sonic to get his attention. I felt that Tails was in danger, and something bad was going to happen. I heard faint static growing louder, as Tails was but inches away from Sonic, and stopped and stuck his hand out to touch him. The foreboding feeling in my gut was growing stronger, and I felt the urge to tell Tails to get away from Sonic. <laughs> but he wasn't real, so I... <laughs> the static grew louder. It's a 16-bit game. How, how can you be getting scared? Suddenly, in a split second, I saw Sonic's eyes open, and they were black. Ugh. With those glowing red dots. Ugh. I'm going to have to get a... Give me some more. We're, right. drink we're drinking, by the way. We're drinking Matt's Wee Wee. Yeah. The glowing red dots, okay. Just like that title image. Though there wasn't a smile. When that happened, the screen turned black. Wait. And the static sound was off. It stayed black. For about seven seconds. And then white text appeared, forming a message saying, Hello, do you want to play with me? No. Yeah, really, <laughs> in a rather chipper voice. <laughs> Hello. At this point, I was creeped out. I didn't want to continue with the game. But so I did until I went and did something else in my life. I got a job. I <laughs> moved out. <laughs> but my curiosity got the better of me when I was taken to a different level, with the title now saying, Hide and Seek. This time I was in the Angel Island level from Sonic 3, and it looked like everything was on fire. <laughs> you know, like in Sonic 3, yeah. when it's on fucking fire. <laughs> Tails looked as though he was scared out of his wits this time. Mm. He actually looked at me and made frantic gestures to me as if he wanted to get out of the area he was in as fast as possible. All you gotta do is hit the reset button. I was starting to get freaked out by this. Dot, dot, dot. I mean, Tails was actually breaking the fourth wall, <gasps> trying to tell me to get him out of there. So I pressed down on the arrow key as hard as I could and made him run <laughs> in the hope yeah! of doing something else as fast as he could. A pixelated version of that creepy pix- There's no- <laughs> There aren't pixels in sound! A pixelated version of that creepy theme when you meet Shadow at the Ark as Robotnik from Sonic Adventure 2. What?! 
Are they just merging all these games into one? Only made, game, though. They made Tails check. Well, they've also got all the Sonic games Sonic and Final Fantasy 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 VI and Earth Trying Band. to help him escape from whatever he was trying to run from. I'm waiting for Sonic R. Suddenly, I heard Sonic that creepy right, laugh again. <laughs> that awful Kefka laugh. It's not that bad. Right after 10 seconds have passed. I'm so accurate with these times. Right after 10 seconds have had passed. As I helped Tails... I'm, I'm going to stop correcting him on his grammar. As I helped Tails run through the forest. And then I started seeing flashes of Sonic popping everywhere on the screen. <gasps> Again, with those black... Ugh. And red... Ugh. Eyes. Ugh. The music changed to that suspenseful drowning jingle. As I see Sonic behind <laughs> Tails... Slowly gaining up on him. Flying! Flying! Sonic wasn't running. He was actually flying. Flying! The flying po po ow. the flying pose of his sprite was making looked very. <laughs> Wait, no, I've read that wrong. The flying pose his sprite was making looked very similar to Metal Sonic's. It's just a really long sentence. Uh, to Metal Sonic's flying pose in Sonic CD. Oh, well, there's it, another one. Except it was just Sonic, and he had the black and red eyes again. Okay, yeah. let's go. That's two. Oh, no. Only, new paragraph, this yes. time, he had the most deranged looking grin on his face. He looked as though he was enjoying the torment he was giving the poor little fox as he gained on him. Or just randomly spawning and flying. Suddenly, when Tails tripped, another cutscene, the music stopped and Sonic vanished. Tails laid there and started crying for 15 seconds. <laughs> uh, Alright, uh, oh, oh, what's this? He started crying. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five. 15 seconds of crying! The scene was rather upsetting to watch, and I kind of teared up myself. Why? Worse. Why? You big girl. But then Sonic appeared right in front of Tails, and Tails looked up in horror. Blood Ugh. started to come down from those blackened <laughs> eyes of Sonic. I'm oh, so glad you didn't say blackened and red. <laughs> yeah. And Sonic uh, of Sonic's as a grin slowly grew from his face. As he looked at the horrified fox, I could do nothing but watch. And time. And stop jacking off. <laughs> Just in a split second, Sonic lunged at Tails right before the, sc right before the screen went black. Mm -mm. There was a loud... There was a loud <laughs> screeching noise. We're going to out drink, sing. That only lasted five seconds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One Mississippi. <laughs> the text returned, only this time it said, Yes, you're too slow. Want to try again? Never make that noise again. <laughs> I swear to God, I swear to God, if you talk in that voice again, I will punch you in the dick. <laughs> and then that god awful laugh came with it. <laughs> I was so shocked by what had happened. Dot, dot, dot. Did Sonic murder Tails? Yes! <laughs> No, he couldn't have. Yes, he could. <laughs> he what? and Tails are supposed to be best friends, <laughs> right? <laughs> In my fair fiction I wrote, <laughs> they're the best of birds. <laughs> <laughs> Why did Sonic do that to him? I don't know, maybe because you're playing a hacked game. <coughs> Surely in fan fictions they're more than best friends. <laughs> I shook the shock off as I was brought back to the character select. 